This is how to make a, a Morse code key and sounder uh, from a steak knife. And first thing I did was just cut a block of wood. This is a, a cutting board uh, that I used, and it's got some it's filler wood in it, so it's not perfect. But you can find you can get some nice wood and make a, a nice base. And uh, cut little two little blocks and glued them on to the base. And uh, this is about an inch high three quarters of an inch wide and a couple inches long and you need a binder clip and you want to cut this one just so it fits right inside the binder clip like that perfect fit and then uh, another one here and drill a, a hole in it a little smaller than the diameter of this screw so that the screw fits nice and tight in there and uh, inside these blocks I, I drilled a hole and put a dowel and then just use wood glue and glue them to the base and so that's your basic uh, key and all you have to do is insert your knife and there you have it <clears throat> you need four uh, neodymium magnets and for the sounder I use my multi-tester and you put the tester onto your uh, resistance tester or ohms testing for ohms and you get a nice little tone and then take uh, two of the magnets <laughs> Take two of the magnets and slide them apart and uh, put the uh, probe between the two magnets. The probes are not magnetic so you have to put them between two magnets. And so on one side you, you, you know, attach this uh, to the knife like that. Uh, you can't attach it to the, the binder clip because it's painted so you don't get any uh, uh, electrical contact so you have to put it on the knife and then uh, slide your other two magnets apart put the probe between it and then put this one on the screw like that turn your multi tester on and you get a nice tone As you can see, I need to practice my CQ, my, my uh, Morse code. Anyway, it takes you just a few minutes to build this. And uh, the sounder is nice. you got a nice tone. And a very easy way to build a little uh, keyer to practice your Morse code.